All right, class, everybody have a nice weekend. Yes. yes. Awesome. Great. So last class, we learned about squares, and today we're going to be learning about a new shape. Jack, can you tell me what type of shape this is? It looks like a triangle. Great job. So these are triangles, and as you can see, there are six different ones, and there are six different types of triangles. These first three can be identified by their angles, and these last three can be identified by their side lengths. So let's, let's get into it. Let's start with this one. Jennifer, what do you notice about the angle right here on this one, triangle? That angle that has a circle in it is bigger than the other two angles. Right, so this angle seems much bigger than the other two angles, and that's because it, it's greater than 90 degrees. So this is an obtuse triangle because it has one angle that is greater than 90 degrees. All right, let's go to this triangle. So as you can see, all of the angles seem relatively small. And this is an acute triangle because each angle is smaller than 90 degrees. And a good way to remember that is that it, it has Q in its name. All right, Jack, let's go to this triangle. Well, we learned about squares last class, and we learned that they each have 90 degrees, and that looks like a corner of a square. Great job. So squares have four 90-degree angles. So this is a 90-degree angle right here, and that's called a right angle. So that makes this a right triangle. All right, now let's go to the, the three triangles identified by their side lengths. Let's start with isosceles. So it, as you can see, there are two hash marks, one right here and one right here. And so this triangle has two equal sides. That means this triangle has two equal sides. So it's an isosceles triangle. Isosceles has at least two equal sides. All right, Bob, what do you notice about the hash marks on this triangle? I don't see any hash marks. That's right. There's no hash marks on this triangle. And that's because none of the sides are equal lengths. So this is a scaling triangle. It has no, no sides of equal lengths. And let's go to the final triangle. This is called equilateral. As you can see, there are three sides of equal lengths. And there's also a, a, a fun fact to know about this is each angle is 60 degrees. So this is also a cube triangle. All right, so now let's do some practice problems now that you've learned all the types of triangles. But before we start, it's important to know that a triangle can be more than one type. So it could be equilateral and isosceles, for example. So let's start with the first problem. Let's start with Jack. What do you think this triangle might be? It looks to be isosceles. Great job. So this is an isosceles triangle. But it, remember, it's also cute because each angle seems smaller than 90 degrees. All right, let's go to problem B. Jennifer, what do you think this triangle is? The angles are acute, and the sides make it equilateral. Yeah, that's exactly right. So it's acute because each angle is 60 degrees, and it's equilateral because each side is equal. But remember, it's also isosceles because isosceles triangles have at least two equal sides, and uh -huh. three is at least two. All right, now let's go to problem C. Jack, what do you think this triangle might be? I think it's obtuse and scalene. Nice job. That's exactly right. So it's obtuse because this angle is greater than 90 degrees, and it's scaling because each side is a different length. And finally, problem D, Bob? I think it's a right triangle and isosceles. Perfect. So it's isosceles because there's two equal sides, and it's a right triangle because there's a right angle that's 90 degrees right there. All right, so now I have a cute chant. See, we, see what I did there? Cute. <laughs> acute. I have a cute chant right, right here to remember each of the six types of triangles. So first I'm going to read it, and then it will do a repeat after me. Obtuse is too big. Acute is too small. But right is just right. If you're looking for equal sides, isosceles has two of these. Equilateral is all equal. And scaling is the odd one out. All right, now repeat after me. Obtuse is too big. Obtuse is too big. Acute is too small. Acute is too small. But right is just right. But right is just right. If you're looking for equal sides, if you're looking for equal sides, isosceles has two of these. Isosceles has at least two of these. Equilateral is all equal. Equilateral is all equal. And scaling is the odd one out. And scaling is the odd one out. All right, class, nice job. We remembered all, we learned all six types of triangles today, and we learned that the, there's three identified by their angles and three identified by their side lengths, and we did a great job today. I'll see you next class when we learn about circles. Thank you.